Hello again. In the last video, I talked about adding IB outlets um, and creating the IB outlets, you know, by connecting Storyboard to your view controller. And um, in this video, I'd like to follow up a little bit with how you might use that, even though this won't be complete. Um, so just as a test here, you can see that um, I have um, my scene here all laid out in Storyboard, and you can see I've got these, you know, UI labels on the, um, you know, in my storyboard, my view. And then on this side, I'm using the assistant editor to display um, the file here called uh, viewcontroller.swift. Okay, and we can see that it's it says viewcontroller there. That's the file. And, uh, you know, I've created all these IB outlets in the last video. So these are my IB outlets. And um, now, you know, once you've created these outlets, what are you going to do with them? And that's what I'd like to address here um, and point out a couple other details, okay? So first of all, you can see the IB outlets have a little, um, sort of a little black dot here, okay? And when I hover over the dot in the um, the assistant editor here, you can see that the element that those IB outlets are, are connected to highlights in the view. So you can, you can check over here and make sure that these are connected to the right item right so that's good to know um, if the dot isn't filled in then go to storyboard and open up the storyboard and then Xcode will read the storyboard and see the outlets and then fill in the dot and if that doesn't happen then your IB outlet may have become disconnected from the element in the storyboard and that can happen sometimes um, and if that happens just delete the outlet here and, and recreate it you know with the control drag okay so uh, so the next thing is actually, you know, you can view these IB outlets in a couple ways. So here I'm viewing them in the assistant editor with the two views side by side. If I close the, ins the, the assistant editor, um, it, I can't really see where the IB outlets exist in Storyboard. Um, <clears throat> but, you, you know, Storyboard actually supplies a couple ways to view them here. So you just have to know where to look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the sidebar here. And um, you can see that we've got, you know, the, um, the various buttons here for the inspector. Um, you can see show the file inspector, the help inspector, the identity inspector. This is the attributes inspector with all the options, right? And then the size or metrics, right? And this last one right here is the connections inspector, okay? And when you click on this, it shows you all the connections that you have in your scene. So, you know, when I click on the UI label here for city name, you can see that that is a referencing outlet. And the name is city name label. And it's connected to um, view controller. Okay. Um, and then, you know, if I click on the name right here, you can see this is the description label. And it's connected to view controller. Okay, so I can kind of review my outlets by clicking on this. If you click on the view controller at the top here, you'll see a list of all the outlets in the view controller. So here I can see that I've got, you know, city name, date, description, you know, max temp, min temp, uh, temperature label, view, and uh, weather image, right? So those are all the, the outlets that I created, okay? Okay. Um, and those are all kind of, you know, kind of laid out here, okay? So that's another way to view those. Um, and then actually, you know, there's there's a third way. So those are two different ways, right? You can look at the objects individually. You can look at the view controller. And then as another option, um, you can also control click on, um, on, the, on the, the, the element here. So you can see, you know, I, I control clicked on the, the San Francisco view label here. And you can see it says referencing outlet, and then it shows me sort of a summary of what we had here, but in a little dialog box. And you can do the same thing here with view controller. So if you control click on that, it opens up a bigger dialog, but it shows you the same information that you would see, you know, over on this side. Okay. And you can actually make connections here too. So if you drag this, you can drag it to, um, to an element to connect it. I don't want to reconnect these guys, so I'm going to not do that right but uh, you know if you had a, a referencing outlet here that w that didn't get connected correctly you can always drag the thing here to connect it okay um, okay so now that you've got your connection all set up and you kind of know how to look at the connections 
um, how do you work with the connection? So we'll just do a simple example right here, okay? And what I want to do is when I test my app, I want to display some different information in these fields, okay? So, uh, you know, if I test it right now and I, you know, I click the run button in the upper left, you know, it builds my project for the, the Xcode simulator and then it opens the simulator. I'm just waiting patiently. Here it is. It's starting up. And any moment now. Oh, there we go. So there's my... There's my project in the Xcode simulator, and, you know, it just says everything that I have here, right? But what if I want to change the values, right? So here's what we're going to do. Um, let's imagine that we want to change the temperature here to, you know, another temperature, and we want to change the description because it says mostly cloudy, but it really looks like it's raining. So um, I'm going to go into uh, View Controller Swift, and in this method here called View Did Load, I'm going to change the values for some of my, my IB outlets here. So, uh, you know, I want to get the description label. So maybe I'll just copy that to save myself the spelling errors, right? And every one of these labels has a, um, a text property, okay? And when I see the, the code inspector here, you know, or the help, you know, the pop-up, right, it shows me the name of all the properties here that begin with T, because I typed a T. And on the left side, it tells me what value that that property can take. So <clears throat> this, like if the tag property is an integer, right? And the, the text property is a string, okay? And it has a question mark there because it's an optional, like it might not have a string in it, but it might have a string, okay? And we'll, we'll talk more about options later, right? Um, optionals, right? So anyway, so I want this text property here. So I can just hit return once it shows me text. And now I've got my text property. And what I want to do is I want to set it to a value. So I can put a string there with the quotation marks and the description label. You know, maybe it says, uh, maybe it's supposed to be um, light rain. How about that for a description, right? So I'll type that in. And maybe the temperature label. So I'll type temp, and then it'll show me temp label, which is type UI label. And then I want to get the text property, so I'll say text. And I'll set the text equal to, um, maybe the temperature is supposed to be, you know, 55, right? So I'll, I'll type in 55 there. And maybe I'll also use the, um, the little degree symbol there. So I'll type that in, right? So this degree symbol, you can make that by using option shift eight, okay? And then maybe, you know, maybe this is not even in San Francisco, it's in another city. So I'll get the city name label, set the text property to uh, Paris, right? And maybe that's good. You know, we could set all the other properties, but we'll just do these three for now, okay? And then I'll, I'll test my project again by clicking the Run button here in the upper left. Oh, look, there we go. So it says City is Paris, uh, Description is Light Rain, and the temperature is 55 degrees. Okay, so anyway, so that's how we'll use these these um, IB outlets here to change the text values of our labels. Okay, and we can change the image too. Okay, but maybe I'll, I'll cover that in another video so it's you know to keep these short. Okay, so thanks for watching.